Tight NBA action coming up. I'm Brian Anderson, along with Grant Hill and Clark Kellogg, our reporter, Ali LaForce. A look at Orlando's opening lineup. Wagner and Bancaro at the three and the four. Kentavious Caldwell Pope out there with Suggs, and it's Carter in at the five. And for the Bulls, we've got Zach Levine, Kobe White out there with Josh Giddy. Then there's Nikola Vucevic. Well, we've got some explosive athletes out here tonight, Grant, and front row seats to watch it. You know, B.A., they're going to be stuffing that highlight reel all night. I mean, you can feel the energy in this place. The crowd is definitely ready for it. And the Magic start out with a ball. Ben Carroll outside. Knocked away. Carter, the pass to Ben Carroll. Carter, a screen on white. Here's Ben Carroll. And it's cleared by Vucevic. The defense made an impact right there. Definitely got him uncomfortable going up with it. Here's Levine for three. Sends it home from three-point land. Hey, how about the distance? Zero fear. Levine will make these moonshots from time to time and splash. Now here's Ben Carroll. And he banks in the layup. He's a producer. It's part of their plan to get him as many touches as possible. Pass to Vucevic. First quarter of play, a minute in. Here's Levine for three. It's rebounded by Ben Carroll. And so Ben Carroll will bring it up for the Orlando Magic. 20 feet out. That shot missing. Very surprising that he came away empty there, especially given room to operate. Back to Vucevic. And he buries his first look. Sometimes, quite simply, getting a hand in the face of Vucevic is not enough. He doesn't buckle when the defense tightens up. Here's Suggs. He's guarded by White. Here's Ben Carroll, who drains the 19-footer. Starting to find his rhythm. He's cooking, and he knows it. And you know what? They're going to keep using him. I mean, he'll be the centerpiece of their offense today. You can bank on that. Now here's Vucevic. Here's Levine. The rebound by Carter. The Magic have gone just two for four from the floor. Ben Carroll with a screen on white. Suggs, the pass to Ben Carroll. Here's Suggs. On the wing, Caldwell Pope. Sinks the tray. Very effective at spacing the floor. Contavious Caldwell Pope has gone from an average outside shooter to a dangerous one. And Grant, a positive for the Bulls over the last few seasons. They work hard to get good shots. Well, B.A., that's definitely part of their DNA. They've had the personnel to do it, and guys who are disciplined and patient. He's one of the best in the league at that. Even with just a tiny sliver, he always seems to find a way to get it up and in. Caldwell Pope against Giddy. Carter, a screen on white. Here's Suggs. The baseline J is off the mark. Chicago has gone one or two from three-point land so far. Outside White. Pass to Levine. They set the pick from the arc. White can't hit. And this is exactly who you want taking that shot. He just missed it. Just under three and a half minutes elapsed here in the first quarter. Here's Ben Carroll. And Vucevic with the block. Get that weak stuff out of here. You can't come weak like that against Vucevic. He's going to send it back at you. Here's Levine. Sweet little floater. Levine's got five now. Boy, that was a sweet-looking teardrop. There's very little defense for that. Outside Carter. Pass to Ben Carroll. Takes the three. Oh, almost had a four-point play right there. But he'll go to the line with a chance for three. And talk about a star from day one, Clark. Paolo Bancaro. You know, B.A., I love this kid's game. He's got great confidence, terrific body. He's relentless. He plays with a lot of energy. And offensively, 
there's not much he can't do. I mean, he rebounds, he competes on defense. Boy, I like a lot about this young man's game. The first one falls. Well, so much length and versatility on this Magic roster, Clark. And, you know, those are two things every team would like to have, Brian. The first step of a rebuild is accumulating talent. They've got some of that. Now it's about coalescing that talent into a winning group. That one's no good. You know, he gets to the line quite a bit, and I know Paolo Bancaro would like to see his percentage from the line creep up, and I think it will. And he nails the third. Unlike a lot of drafts, Grant, there wasn't a clear first overall pick in 2022 for the Magic. Yeah, but I do think they nailed it, taking Paolo Bancaro, a 6'10 playmaker. Bancaro was Rookie of the Year, and he's certainly a player you can build on. Oh, oh wow. big time right there. Yes, hey. Well, we know Levine has the hops. That time showing off the creativity. And Carroll with it. He has six. Picked by Carter. Let's the three fly. And Carroll no good. The Bulls have gone five of eight. Solid opening quarter for them. To the middle. Here's Levine. And Levine throws it down. Levine has that buoyant bounce. He just looks like he's floating when he goes up top. Carter, a screen on white. Here's Suggs. That one goes. Now he's one for two. Gotta fight harder to get over those screens. Well, I'm going to credit the screen. I mean, that's a good, strong pick he lays there. And there's the screen. Here's Levine. Ooh, Levine with another miss. And so Ben Carroll will bring it up for the Magic. Trailing by two. Here's Caldwell Pope. Can't get the go-ahead bucket. The Bulls have got six of ten attempts to fall. Vucevic finds Levine. Shot from the wing. Orlando grabs the miss. And Carroll passes to Suggs. Back to Ben Carroll. Giddy with a double team. Bogner outside. Clock at six. Three-pointer, no good. Chicago's gone one for three from beyond the arc. Pass to Vucevic. Hook loose. Stolen by Carter. Here's Suggs. Giddy defends. Now Ben Carroll. Carter inside. Wagner for three. And it's cleared by Vucevic. Vucevic has got his sixth rebound on the night. Wagner against Levine. And Levine throws it down. Yeah, extremely crafty, smart, clever. Levine with the ball on the string, creating all the separation he needs to do work. Picked by Carter. The three from Suggs. Drains the triple. Suggs has got five. He's consistent from out there, especially when you give him that kind of room. Now here's White, guarded closely. The three ball. He drops it from range. Five points in the game. Man, this is just fun. These teams are trading threes back and forth. Nothing like answering back. One team gets three, you fire three of your own. Boom. Levine against Wagner. Right side, Levine. Shot clock at five. Here's White. And it's good. Credit Levine with the assist. And it's a six-point Bulls lead. Levine brings a lot to this team. One of the elements he brings is his passing. Orlando has gone just two for six from the arc here in the first. Carter, a screen on Levine. Fires from the corner, and it's Wagner missing. 
man stolen by Bancaro. Ooh, and he took a hard foul on the shot. So he'll head to the line to shoot a pair. Bancaro so solid inside. Defenders are going to have a hard time with his size and quickness. All right, guys, what do you think about the offensive approach we've seen so far for Chicago? The most consistent attack on offense so far has been the mid-range jump shot. We'll see if shoot they can two. keep that rolling. They've also displayed a real unselfishness as a team, moving the basketball well, sharing the rock, and giving everybody a chance to participate in the offense. And he makes a first. Williams is checked in for Chicago. The Sumu comes in for Levine. That one misses, so he goes one for two. Chicago leading. Shoots. It's rebounded by Wagner. Pass to Suggs. And here's Ben Caro. Carter, a screen on Williams. Ben Caro passes to Suggs. Pure from three point range. Suggs has got eight. Shooting in good rhythm there. Suggs off the catch and shoot. Nicely done. Outside White from the high post. Can't get it. He's now one of four from the floor. Orlando has gone three of seven from beyond the arc in the first. Bancaro in the post. Working on Williams. And out of bounds. It'll be Chicago ball. Some changes for Chicago. Terry's checked in for Giddy, and it's ball in for White. Well, Chicago's shooting an excellent 56% in this quarter. Picked by Vucevic. Ball finds Vucevic. Up and over Carter. Vucevic's shot is off. Great defensive effort to lock down the paint. Impressive work protecting the basket. He held his ground nicely on that one. And the shooter had very little space on that attempt. And guys, that's exactly the kind of high-impact defense they want to see out of him. Out to the wing. Fires it from 18. It's hauled in by the Magic. Here's Isaac. Oh, it misses! Had a chance to tie it. Sumu for three. Fires in the triple. And the Bulls lead by five. Not a bunch of energy from the defense, which is why he was free to knock that down. Takes a step back. And the foul is called. He missed it, so he's got a couple of free throws coming his way. It's going to be on Lonzo Ball. down the first one. The Bulls making a switch here. Duarte's checked in. So he gets them both. It can help a big man's game to hit those free throws. It keeps the defense from getting too aggressive. Pass to Vucevic. Over Carter. Tried to bank it in, but it misses. And so it's Carter who brings up the ball for the Orlando Magic. It's a three-point game. The shot. Williams grabs the board. Chicago has gone three for five from deep so far in this matchup. The Sumu for three. Rebound by the Magic. Isaac with it. Guarded by Vucevic. Isaac, the pass to Black. Wagner outside. And there's a whistle. He'll head to the line to shoot two. You think of Wagner mostly for his offense. 
But Clark, he's a great defender as well. You know, B.A., he really is. He moves his feet well, both laterally and up and down. He's got great size at 6'10". He can step out and defend guards in the pick and roll. Very versatile defensively. Break. And break. he's got a nice Good zeal shot. in how he goes about it. Throw good, Wagner. And for the Berlin native, Franz Wagner. His NBA career is off to a terrific start. Yeah, at 6'10", he's extremely versatile. He's already a talented scorer at all three levels. Plus, he's able to put the ball on the floor and create for his teammates. Smith, he's checked in for Chicago. Levine comes in for Duarte. He's off on the second. No denying, the future is certainly bright for Wagner. He's a superb scorer already who also is growing as a passer. Defensively, there was a lack of aggressiveness, and it really made it easy for him to knock that shot down. Over to the wing. Wagner for three. On target from range. Wagner with the right back at you answer on the three. Pretty impressive right there. 52 seconds left to play in the first quarter. And the ball out of play. The Magic will have it. Anthony's checked in for Orlando. There's 49 seconds left in the opening quarter. Pass to Isaac. Down low. And stolen by Williams. And he lobs it up to the rim. Isaac with the steal. Anthony outside. Unloads. The shot is good. And this game is back to even. Really easy to appreciate Isaac. I mean, a solid teammate who's always ready to share the sugar. Here's Smith. Oh, a clear foul there on the missed shot. So he'll get a pair at the line. It goes on Cole Anthony. Yeah, and you never want to let shots at the rim go uncontested. Yeah, I couldn't agree with you more. I mean, that's the message they were sending with that foul. Nothing easy inside. And the first one at the line is good. A solid defender and rebounder. I'm really impressed with Smith's growth thus far. And so he makes both from the line. 20 seconds left in the first quarter. Up top, Mancaro. Williams defending. Picked by Isaac. Anthony outside. Shoots over ball. No good. Tight defense there. Bothered that shot. Well, a good close contest so far as we finish the first quarter. It's the Bulls up two and will return shortly. already in this one but a fairly even matchup after this first quarter of play and before we move on what do you think about what we've seen here from the Bulls tonight oh what I love was that first quarter was all about leaking out and capitalizing in transition yeah I like the way they play they're looking to get up and down the court every time racehorse basketball here tonight strap it up don't look down you'll miss something and so it's ball with it. He brings it up for the Chicago Bulls. Patrick Williams out there with Jalen Smith. Then there's Zach Levine. Then there's Ayo DeSumo. And it's ball in at the point guard. So that's the five in the game for Chicago. 
Six to shoot. Steps back from deep. It's hauled in by the Magic. Maybe he thinks he has that type of range, but I don't think his coaches will agree. Yeah, you know what? Sometimes guys have the green light to take that shot, but I don't think he's one of them. Chicago's gone four of eight from three. A nice percentage. And stolen by Bancaro. Here's Anthony. Got it. Good job in the low post. Look at Bancaro finding his teammate out there, getting the ball into the hands of the open man. Man, that's impressive. Ball surveys the floor. Levine way outside. It's hauled in by the Magic. Ben Carroll's got four rebounds in the game. Pass to Anthony. Fader on the way. That one no good. Boy, you've really got to put those away, especially against soft interior defense. Let's check in with our reporter, Allie LaForce. The Magic are still young, yes, but they are developing. Coach Jamal Mosley said, quote, we're close to getting over the hump. These guys understand that you just have to stick with that process, the growth. It's just the belief system that these young men are starting to grow into. He's really kept that positive environment. Thanks, Allie. Well, Grant, we saw a lot of lower seeds winning series in last year's playoffs. Is the regular season losing importance? You know, B.A., there's greater parity, which means less separation in the league, especially between the top seeds and the bottom seeds. But still, the league needs to make sure regular season games do matter. So it's Orlando now. They haven't allowed any points in the second quarter. I think he's gone completely dry. Nothing is hitting. And, you know, you can sense his frustration. This is going to be a test of his resolve here. Levine takes off. Lightning move off the dribble. No one can slide over in time. He beat the help. Results in Levine getting free throws. good on the free throw you know when you think of Zach Levine his scoring comes to mind immediately but he also rebounds effectively and passes it pretty good too Caldwell Pope's checked in for Orlando Suggs comes in for Anthony and he sinks the second and so here is Orlando they trail by one to the left wing puts it up Another miss by Orlando. This has not been his best quarter. You know, guys, it seems to me as though he's over anxious. He seems to be pressing, trying too hard, moving too fast. Just needs to calm himself down and wait for good shots. The Magic have gone one for six in the second quarter. Not great. Pass to Suggs. Inside, Isaac. That one goes. Now he's one for two. Takes a lot to shake Isaac. I mean, he's excellent at getting his shot up and over the defense inside. Out of bounds. It'll be Orlando's ball. Three minutes of action thus far on the second. Pass to Suggs. Takes a three. And it's Chicago with the board. Here's Desumu. He's covered by Caldwell Pope. Back to Williams. Here's Levine for three. Rebound by the Magic. Bancaro's got a rebound number five here tonight. To the paint. He can't get that one to fall. Ooh, excellent D there from Smith. Pass the ball. Smith outside. Pulls it. Rebounded by Suggs. Orlando leading. Isaac with a screen on ball. The ball's knocked loose. Ball with a steal. 
Smith finds ball. Smith with a screen on Isaac. It's good from the top of the key. And you've documented it. Ball has a hitch in his giddy up on that shot. But it works. I mean, it's all about release and follow through and confidence and repetition. And if he has room, then he'll make you pay. Would you say testing the limits of his range there? You know, guys, I think he's got confidence to shoot it from anywhere, but he could have gotten a better one than that. Smith with a screen on Caldwell Pope. Shoots. And Ball gets it to go. And it's a three-point Bulls lead. Orlando has gone 0 for 3 from deep to begin the second. Here's Ben Carroll. Seven points in the game. 17-foot shot on the way. Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. So two free throws for him coming up. Love seeing Ben Carroll play with that kind of force. Making the defense figure out how they're going to deal with him. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. First one falls for him. And the Magic making a change here. Carter's checked in. And Van Caro drops them both. And it's Levine with the ball for the Bulls. They've only given up six here in this quarter. And Chicago again with a bucket. Levine, a remarkable scorer, and he can help you in a lot of different ways. Showing it all tonight. Outside Carter. Pass to Ben Carroll. Launches it. The offensive rebound. Oh, it's blocked by Williams. And here's White. On the wing, Levine over Ben Carroll. Levine can't hit. Orlando trailing here. From 18 feet away. And it's Desumu with the rebound. Well, Chicago's shooting just 42% so far in the game. Oh, deflected. It's stolen by Isaac. Here's Caldwell Pope. Gets the three ball to go. Caldwell Pope's got six points. Hey, it's not easy trying to stick with Caldwell Pope now, especially when he leaks out in transition. Pass to White. White with a screen on Isaac. Outside, Williams. Here's Desumu. Just five to shoot. Oh, great D that time from Isaac. Orlando has gone just one of five so far this quarter from three. Pass to Carter. Oh, they get a hand on it. Outside, Caldwell Pope. Chance there to take the lead, but a miss. Here's Desumu. He's covered by Caldwell Pope. Desumu, the pass to White. Let's go with a three. Knocks down the triple. White's got his second basket of the game. A total defensive collapse. I mean, no reason to allow him that kind of space from behind the arc. Outside, Caldwell Pope. And he drops in the layup off the glass. Caldwell Pope's got five points in the quarter. Look at Caldwell Pope battling inside. Boy, he fights through that contact, doesn't he? White finds Williams. All alone. It's hauled in by Isaac. Isaac's got four rebounds in the game. Pass to Carter. Back to Suggs. Nails it from beyond the arc. 11 points in the game. Suggs has that kind of ability from behind the arc now. Very efficient timeout, from timeout. deep. Now a timeout called by Chicago. Start it.
some changes for Chicago. Vucevic comes in for Zach Levine, and Giddy subbed in for Dasumu. The Magic making a switch here. Now here's Vucevic. Here's Suggs. He's guarded by White. Suggs, no good. You know, the fact is, he's not a lock from there, but he was open enough to where he should have hit that shot. Oh, and a fast break for the Magic. Pass to Wagner. Four on the clock. Caldwell Pope with it. Puts up a three. And again, it's the magic from deep. You know, it just looks prettier from the corner, especially when Caldwell Pope lets it go. In the early stretch of his career, Clark, Jalen Suggs has had a tough go of it. Yeah, you know, injuries are an ugly part of the game, B.A., and he's had to overcome quite a bit here early in his career. Such a promising young talent. But I do believe when you look at the long road in front of him that he's going to show you how special a player he is. Orlando has gone 7 for 17 from three-point range so far in this matchup. Here's Suggs. He's guarded by White. Wagner for three. And it's cleared by Vucevic. Vucevic has got rebound number nine now. What an effort here tonight. Outside White. Outside Williams. From down in the low post, it goes. And it's now only a one-point Magic lead. Magic shooting 34% thus far in this game. Wagner outside. Let's it go from deep. And it's Chicago with a board. Williams has got six rebounds now in the game. Outside White. Vucevic, a screen on Caldwell Pope. Here's Giddy. Again, the Bulls score. These teams just feeling each other out. Yeah, I love the spirit out there. Already six lead exchanges. We've got a minute 48 left to play in the second quarter. Man, good whistle there. Yeah, you can hear the smack all the way over here where we are. Free throw misses. The Sumu, he's checked in for Williams. And the Magic making a change here as well. And Caro's checked in for Caldwell Pope. He hits the second from the line. Well, the Bulls shooting just around 41% in the second. A minute 37 left in the second. Outside Giddy. Back to Vucevic. Six on the shot clock. Let's it fly. White can't hit. The Magic shooting around 29% in quarter number two. Picked by Carter. The three from Ben Carroll. Rebound by the Bulls. You know, I wouldn't be surprised if he gets yanked soon. I mean, that's how bad his shot selection has been. White on the wing. He's checked by Carter. And the whistle on the shot. Got some contact there. 
Misses the shot, but he'll shoot two. <laughs> no debate there. He got hammered. Blatant contact. Straightforward call. Simple. First free throw is good. Caldwell Pope's checked in for Orlando. He's perfect from the line this time. He's as solid as it gets from the line. I mean, give him the opportunity. He's cashing in on those. Ben Caro outside. It's good. Only a few seconds into the shot clock. Bancaro's got 11 points. Bancaro will score it in a multitude of ways. Nice jumper in rhythm there. There's 42 seconds left in the first half. Oh, plenty of contact on that shot. Officials call the foul, and he'll take two free throws now. That free throw, no good. Smith, he's checked in for Chicago. And he's good on the second. Here's Suggs. 11 points in the game. Wagner outside. From the corner. Here's Carter. And it's slammed in by Carter. A terrific offensive rebound. The Carter Jr. excels at using that big body of his to take advantage on the board. To the inside. And the officials whistle a foul on the shot. The bucket is good, and he'll go to the line. And boy, has this been a competitive matchup thus far. <laughs> These teams have swapped leads seven times already, and we're not even in the second half. away from way outside no good misses at the buzzer and we're through the first half of play here in what's been a good one bulls out in front they lead by a bucket all right Allie's ready to go she's courtside hey Allie I'm here with Billy Donovan and coach you look at the team's execution defensively are you pleased with what you saw I thought we defended well I think the problem was we fouled too much you know had some turnovers that we should have had back but overall I think when we were settled in the half court we defended well Coach hoping they can stay settled in in the second half, guys. Thanks, Allie. After the break, we'll see you right back here to begin quarter number three.
Second half of basketball is upon us, and we may be in for an exciting finish based on how close of a game we've seen so far. Boy, Zach Levine has been sensational. Yeah, tonight he's done a great job of slashing through the lane and finishing. Yeah, you know what, guys? They gave him too many free runs to the hoop in the first half. I think they've got to be a lot tougher on him, body him up, be physical with him. On the court for the Magic, Ben Carroll plays the four with Carter Jr. at center. Contavious Caldwell Pope out there with Suggs, and it's Wagner in at the three, the small forward. Outside White. No good on the triple. And that's exactly how tightly you have to guard him every time he steps to the arc. He's just that good. All right, let's get a report from Allie. Well, before his one season at Duke, Paolo Bencaro tattooed the message, no pressure, on his left forearm. He said, quote, there's going to be noise, but at the end of the day, you got to go out there and hoop against five other guys. So it's like, quote, what really is it if it's just basketball? <laughs> that's a good point. No big deal. Thanks, Allie. Outside Giddy. Five to shoot. Here's Levine for three. Oh, drew the foul and almost hit the three-point bucket. But he'll head to the line for three. That's on Franz Wagner. He sucks. Three sucks. And he hits the first of three. And the second free throw is good. And he makes all three. And with a little over a minute gone by, the second half is underway. Here's Suggs. He's guarded by White. And Carroll outside. And Carroll down the lane. And he'll draw the foul. He'll head to the line for two. Van Carroll going in strong, leaning in, getting himself to the line, drawing that foul. Boy, he's got a combination of athleticism and physicality that is impressive. First free throw is good. And Van Carroll drops them both. And it's Levine with the ball for Chicago. They lead by one. Giddy with a screen on Wagner. Caldwell Pope against Levine. No good on the shot. Excellent D there from Caldwell Pope. The Magic shooting just 35% from the floor. Here's Suggs. He's guarded by White. 18 feet out. That one rolls around and rims out. The Bulls shooting 44%. A pretty decent clip. Two minutes gone in this third quarter now. Here's Levine for three. Orlando grabs the miss. Carter's got nine rebounds now. Wagner, the pass to Carter. Count it and one. He'll have a chance at a three-point play. It's going to belong to Nikola Vucevic.
know, when we talk about the modern big, Carter Jr. is a great example of it. He can shoot, he boards it, he's got good size and a pretty diverse skill set. Second half of play here with just under two and a half minutes passed. Levine with a steal. Outside Giddy. Puts it up from the high post. And he hits the jumper. Giddy's got six. Vucevic really skilled at finding holes in the defense. And his passing ability, while understated, is tremendous. Outside Carter. Third quarter here, and three minutes have come off the clock. Pass to Ben Carroll. Here we go. Giddy with it. Wagner picks him up. Here's White. Great D that time from Bancaro. Boy, patrolling the paint well, protecting the rim. That's exactly the kind of defensive effort you need against him. That was just great work to battle through contact and will in the shot. Boy, it does your heart good to see that kind of determination in a player. Really excellent focus that time. for Carter Chicago has gone 0 for 2 from outside here on the third outside white that drops and it comes off an assist from Levine 10 points for him and good execution by Levine with the pass I mean showing improved leadership skills there and Carroll in the post pass to Carter here's the three the shot comes out the Bulls have gotten only two of seven shots to go in the third quarter. Now White. It's Giddy on the wing. Pulls up. Rebounded by Suggs. For Orlando, they've gotten three of six shots to fall so far in the third. Wagner against Levine. Right side, Caldwell Pope. Inside. Drops the first. And the Bulls making a change here. Williams is checked in. And Van Carroll drops them both. Chicago trailing here. And the call is going to be, yes, an illegal screen. Boy, in a game this snug, you can ill afford to commit those kinds of turnovers. Well, the league has put an emphasis to crack down on illegal screens. Yeah, you know, he might have gotten away with that a few years ago, but not anymore. No way. Now you've got to be stationary on those screens. No extra hips or elbows, or they'll call it. Here's Suggs. He's guarded by White. Wagner for three. And another miss by Orlando. And, you know, the defense to me looked like they were okay to let him prove he could make that shot. White, the pass to Vucevic. Levine with it. Defended by Wagner. Yes, it's good. Levine's got five points now in the quarter. Boy, Vucevic, so solid in all fundamentals of the game. And really an outstanding passer for a big guy. Up top, Carter. Pass to Wagner. Over Levine. And Wagner gets it to go. On the assist by Carter. Wagner's got six. Chicago is gone. Only one of three from deep here in the third. Now here's White. He's guarded closely. Outside Giddy for the lead. It's rebounded by Ben Carroll. Ben Carroll's got seven rebounds in the game. Watch, 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 
to the middle. Oh, and that one, no question, powered it down. Wagner able to bounce to the rack and throw it down, and he'll do so just about any time he has the opportunity. Here's Levine for three. The three-pointer is good from Levine. Got to fight harder to get over those screens. Well, I'm going to credit the screen. I mean, that's a good, strong pick he lays there. Carter, a screen on white. And a foul called on the way up. So he'll take two from the free throw line. Kobe White picks one up. Suggs is a capable shooter now. He requires a little extra attention. And a closer look here at the hustle stats for the Magic. Yeah, they've collected an impressive number of steals so far, using fast hands to force some turnovers and then scoring on the other end. And the defense has been disrupted, forcing turnovers, challenging shots. The turnovers they've been able to turn into points, too. And he makes a first. And the future Suggs has is certainly promising. An effective combo guard who can really get it going at times. Dasumu, he's checked in for Giddy. So he makes one of two, and the second one misses. And Williams has got the ball here for Chicago. Pass to Vucevic. Now here's Levine for the lead. That one is off. Now Ben Carroll. Carter, a screen on Williams. Here's Ben Carroll. Nails it with a hand at his face. Ben Carroll's got six in the quarter. Now that's impressive. Ben Carroll showing you he can do damage from the mid range, too. Here's White. The rebound by Carter. Carter's got double-digit rebounds now in the game. Here's Suggs. 14 points for him. Out left to the wing. Shot clock at six to the paint. The kick out to Ben Carroll. The three-pointer off the mark. He didn't make them pay for that weak defense, but they just can't rely on him to miss those kind of shots. And Levine throws it down. Impressive one-hand slam right there, B.A. Man, as long as he's confident about it, I'm good with it. Maybe use two hands next time. He knows where he is. Somebody you can count on. He is an extremely reliable finisher. Nails it from three. Hunting for that shot. Wagner wants to eat. Now White, he's got 10. Caldwell Pope pulls it in. The Magic have gotten seven of 12 shots to drop in the third. Suggs, the pass to Ben Carroll. Pulls it from the top of the key. It's hauled in by the Bulls. White's got five rebounds tonight. Throws it up high. Look at Levine throwing it down. Can you believe it? I mean, not many guards can sail that high above the rim. And Levine makes it look easy. And the Magic call time, time here. Failing to find a rhythm offensively. Something that needs to change and change soon. And I think this timeout, guys, is where you draw up some plays that are guaranteed to create some high percentage shots. Ball, he's checked in for Chicago. Wagner's checked in for Orlando. No, Isaac comes in for Bancaro. Chicago on D. 
It's a three-point game. And once again, off the mark by Orlando. Here's Williams. It's rebounded by Wagner. Well, I like the defense there. Right up in his grill, didn't give him a chance. Wagner in the high post. 11 points in the game. And the dunk by Isaac. Well, you have to keep Isaac off the boards. I mean, when he's that close to the rim and has good position, he's a threat to grab a bunch of rebounds. Williams finds White. And he was fouled while in the act of shooting, so he'll take two free throws. First one at the line is good. And he makes both free throws. The Magic have gone 50% from the field in the third quarter. 8 of 16. Isaac with a screen on ball. Pass to Caldwell Pope. Takes a 13-footer. Five on the clock. Isaac for three. Rebound by the Bulls. Vucevic has got 13 rebounds in the game. Glass heating. Wagner against Ball. For the tie. Rebounded by Suggs. Suggs has got his fifth rebound in this one. Pass to Wagner. Wagner with a screen on Vucevic. And it's Wagner off the drive. Good work there as it goes. Wagner able to get the shot to go through contact. And the and one on tap. Great determination that time. Chicago has possession. They trail by six. Picked by Vucevic. The three from Ball. Counted from distance. Ball's got seven points. Yeah, you know, it's a quirky release. There's no denying that. But he's a reliable shooter and scorer from the perimeter. Lonzo Ball making it happen. Down low. Here's Wagner. Dunks it hard with one hand. Wow, he makes it look easy. And one move ahead of the defense. A solid pick. And then the monster dunk to complete the play. Well done. Boy, picture perfect teamwork that time, guys. One guy sacrificing for the other. That's how you succeed in this league. And the Bulls making a change here. Carter's checked in. And Caro's checked in for Orlando. Cole Anthony comes in for Wagner. A minute 39 left in the third. Here's Desumu with the tip. Oh, he hangs in there and cashes in on the second chance points. Vucevic has gotten his second bucket of the game. Yeah, you know, one of the best parts of Nikola Vucevic's game is his great body, excellent hands, and the high motor makes him an outstanding rebound. And so it's Williams with it. He brings it up for the Bulls. For the tie... It's hauled in by Isaac. Orlando leading. After the outside. Right wing. Here's Ben Carroll. And he's headed to the line for two. He gets the whistle there. And there's the foul against Chicago.
that one misses. Smith, he's checked in for Chicago. Levine comes in for Carter. No good on the second free throw. So 0 for 2 there. And for the Bulls, they're shooting just 36% in the third. Here's Williams. That one rolls around and rims out. And Orlando shooting well here in the third, hitting 50% of their shots. Back to Ben Carroll. Fades away. Count it. Ben Carroll's got 19 points. And Bancaro can score from all three levels. And this versatility makes him a dangerous offensive weapon. On the wing, Levine. It's good. And the assist that time from Ball. And, you know, he's going to take that shot every time. The defense has to respect him from the mid-range. Bancaro against Williams. Bancaro outside. Isaac with a screen on Williams. Here's Ben Carroll. Plenty of space. Nice open look, but it's no good. Almost too wide open there. That's like a warm-up jumper for him. Paolo Ben Carroll getting it done for Orlando. Eight points in the quarter, showing how effective he can be. More 2K action in just a moment. And it's time to bring up the State Farm assist to the game. <laughs> yeah, just shredding the defense with that feed. Zero chance to stop that. Yeah, that's just a brilliant read of the defense. I mean, it was also excellent anticipation of the movement of his teammates before the pass. Just great harmony on all sides. And it's been a very competitive game so far as we get rolling here in quarter number four. Well, Orlando's shooting only 39% so far in the game. They've got Lonzo Ball, Smith out there with Patrick Williams. Then there's Zach Levine, and it's Tasumu in at the shooting guard. That's the five out there for the Bulls. throw drops for Ben Carroll. And Ben Carroll drops them both. Chicago trailing here. Outside Levine. Inside, it's stolen by Isaac. Over to the left wing. Anthony in the post, hounded by Ball. Ben Carroll outside. Pass to Isaac. Down to five on the shot clock. Hits the trifecta. Really hard to guard him any better. I mean, sometimes he drains the three no matter what. Well, Chicago is shooting about 43% on this one. Now here's Levine. The D's right on him. And count the basket. He was fouled, and he's going to the line for one more.
Fourth quarter just getting started. One minute in the books. To the paint. The shot from the low post is good. Man, what a pass that was there. He really, really relishes making the game easier for his teammates. Ball passes to Smith. And here's Levine. 4-3. And it's Orlando with a rebound. Isaac's got rebound number seven tonight. Pass to Anthony. From deep three-point land. That shot, no good. Good D by Paul. Levine with it. Fires the three. And again, Chicago, no good. You know, brick after brick after brick. I mean, that's been the story for him this quarter. I mean, he's got to brain it in down the stretch here. Ball against Ben Carroll. The three. Ball with the rebound. Ball's got four rebounds now. And Williams punches it home. The pass, the catch, the slam. What a clean play. Man, absolutely jaw-dropping. Tell you what, you wouldn't know they're the team trailing when they're able to pull off plays like that. Van Carroll against Williams. Van Carroll passes to Isaac, and it goes. As the official calls the foul, count it, and he'll shoot one more at the line. White, he's checked in for ball. And the Magic making a change here as well. Carter's checked in. Free throw good from Isaac. And, you know, right now, for me, it's all about confidence as it relates to Isaac. I mean, this guy has the tools to be special. I think he just needs to be more consistent. Pass to Levine. And he's going to the line for two. The official saw contact while he was going up. And he can't get the first one. Good on the second one. The Magic have gone three of five since this fourth quarter started. Carter, a screen on Levine. And Carroll hammers it home. Van Carroll just attacking the rim. Going up over the defense that time. Pass to Williams. Here's Desumu. Outside Levine. And stolen by Van Carroll. He got the whistle on the way up. So he'll be headed to the line for a pair. It's on Zach Levine. The officials were right on top of that one. Clearly a foul. I mean, didn't give him any choice but to blow the whistle. I mean, you got to play without fouling. That one's off. And he's good on the second. The Bulls have gotten half of their attempts to fall in the fourth. Two for four now. Outside Levine. From outside, off the mark. 
And so it's Carter who brings up the ball for Orlando. Ten point lead. This is their biggest of the game. Out to the right wing. Here's Van Caro. And that one's on target from the wing. Van Caro's got 15 points in just the second half. Chicago has gone 0 for 3 here in the fourth. Outside, Williams. Outside, Levine. The kick out to Williams. And again, Chicago, no good. You know, defensively, you just can't afford to give him that much room. They're fortunate that he missed that one. It's rebounded by Levine. Well, Chicago's shooting only 42% from deep. Look at Levine stretching his range. Beautiful pull-up by Levine. On balance, under control, developing a better feel for this particular shot. And there's the call. It's going to be an illegal screen. One of the trickier plays to judge, but it would be hard to argue against the call. Yeah, you know, the officials aren't nearly as lenient as they used to be on that call. As a matter of fact, I know I got away with a lot of those in my playing days, but that was 40 years ago. Williams finds Levine, driving to the basket. So it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. You know, battling inside, I like Levine's aggressive approach. Tough to match without fouling. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. That free throw, no good. And the second free throw is good. Here's Ben Carroll. Outside, Caldwell Pope. Back to Ben Carroll. Carter, a screen on Williams. Here's Ben Carroll. Ooh, excellent D there from Smith. Chicago has gone one for five shooting from the arc here in the fourth. On the wing, Levine. Pass to DeSumo. From outside the arc. It's rebounded by Ben Carroll. The Magic have gotten five shots out of nine to go in this fourth. Oh, Williams with the block. Levine with it. Wagner picks him up. Shot is good by Levine. Mid-range, no problem for Levine. He easily adjusts his shot as needed. Orlando calls timeout. Yeah, they're hoping to turn things around with this timeout. Yeah, you know, they had to do something, anything to stop this run. You can't just let it go on any longer. And the Bulls making a change here. Let's go now to the sideline and catch up with Allie LaForce. Hi, guys. Well, Jamal Mosley was just reviewing the plan with his team. 
He said to his guys, this one is not over yet. You have worked hard for this lead, and we are not about to give it up now. Stay focused and keep hustling. Back to you guys. Appreciate the report, Allie. Wagner, the pass to Ben Carroll. And once again, off the mark by Orlando. And the foul is called. He missed it, so he's got a couple of free throws coming his way. That one on Ben Carroll. Off on the first. He hits the second from the line. Orlando leading. it down and one move ahead of the defense a solid pick and then the monster dunk to complete the play well done boy picture perfect teamwork that time guys one guy sacrificing for the other that's how you succeed in this league three-pointer Vucevic rebound by the magic they held a 12-point lead earlier and Carroll with it And they're going to count that bucket, and they'll send him to the line. It could be a three-point play. No stopping Van Carroll that time. I mean, he just muscles his way through the foul. Josh Giddey's checked in for Chicago. Bulls have gone four for ten in the fourth. Pass to Vucevic. And here's Levine, defended by Wagner. Fires from deep. Knocks down the long J. That right there, that's the kind of look this system is designed to create. Here's Suggs. Here's Ben Carroll. Oh, Ben Carroll throws it down. And after putting it down, he dangles from the rim a little. Man, that's borderline taunting right there, Grant. They're playing with a certain swagger right now. Well, you know what? You don't want to do too much to get an opponent riled up. you got to be mindful of that. Here's Caldwell Pope. And it's Giddy with a rebound. And Giddy has got the ball here for the Chicago Bulls. Nine-point game. Shot by Levine. No good. Ben Carroll passes to Suggs. Wagner outside. Now here's Ben Carroll. The three from Suggs. He buries it from three. And the Magic lead by 12. Excellent focus from Suggs on the play. Not allowing the defense to throw off his jump shot. Stayed focused on the target. White finds Levine. Stolen by Carter. And here's Ben Carroll. It's hauled in by the Bulls. Pass to White. Levine passes to White. Now here's Vucevic, guarded by Ben Carroll. Oh, and he got fouled on his way up. 
He'll head to the line to shoot two. Boy, hard to say too much about the craftiness of Vucevic's game. I mean, oftentimes, because he's so clever and so good at drawing fouls, he just toys with defenders. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. The first free throw is good. You love a big man like Vucevic. Puts in the effort to keep improving. For example, look at what he's done with his perimeter shooting. That's also good. So he hits both free throws. Orlando has gone two of four from the perimeter here in the fourth quarter. Ben Carroll right side. Using his size, Ben Carroll gets by inside. Has taken little time for Ben Carroll to show he can deal with tough NBA defense. Time out, it's time a battle, out. and he's not afraid of it at all. Sorry. And the Bulls call time here. Outside Levine. They double-team Levine. From deep, Giddy. Rebounded by Suggs. Suggs has got six rebounds now in the game. Up top, Mancaro. Giddy defends. Mancaro against Giddy. Clock at six. Carter from outside. Offensive rebound on the wing, Suggs. Pass to Ben Carroll. Back to Caldwell Pope. Wagner for three. Ben Carroll passes to Carter. And Vucevic with the block. And here's White. Here's Levine. Fires it. Gets it to go from the corner. Levine's got 40 points. Look at the quickness from Levine. Saw the defender closing in and still got the shot away. With the step back. Here's Ben Carroll. And so he draws the foul. Headed to the line to shoot a pair. And so he's picked up his final foul. And he'll sit the rest of this one out. And you hate to have a player foul out. But their depth could be an asset here. Helping them weather his absence. Free throw drops for Ben Carroll. And Ben Carroll drops them both. And Levine has got the ball here for Chicago. Down by 12. It's hauled in by the Magic. Carter's got a rebound number 12 here already in the game. The three from Suggs. From beyond the arc and then some. Suggs has got six points in the quarter. So tough trying to slow down Suggs, especially when he gets it going, because he's persistent and relentless. Here's Levine, plenty of space with nobody on him. He buries that jumper. 
Gotta fight harder to get over those screens. Well, I'm gonna credit the screen. I mean, that's a good, strong pick he lays there. From downtown, it's hauled in by the Magic. Bancaro's got 12 rebounds here tonight. Big time effort. Pass to Wagner. No one near him. Chicago grabs the miss. White for three. That's in there. Vucevic with the assist. A total defensive collapse. I mean, no reason to allow him that kind of space from behind the arc. Williams against Van Carroll. Now Carter. And it's slammed in by Carter. And he's now got the double-double. And there is no way this margin gets closed down. Great execution of a game plan and a nice win here for the Magic. They had to fight for this one. With the game hanging in the balance a couple of times, they made winning plays, Grant. It's all about having a strong mentality. What's interesting is that any time momentum turned against them, instead of folding, they responded with their own attack. And when you look at the game, the one thing that helped fuel this team to victory was the efficiency for Paolo Bancaro. He had a surplus of energy tonight, providing defensive help all over the floor and making it seem like they had six guys out there instead of five. That free throw good from Levine. Free throws good from Levine. 59 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Here's Suggs. He's guarded by White. Pass to Wagner. Carter, a screen on Levine. Here's Wagner. And count it from 19 feet away. And the Magic lead by 12. And guys, that's got to be the dagger. This is how you finish a game. Yeah, what a time to put the hammer down. Any hope of a comeback diminished. It's nice they found their rhythm here, but the clock is just not their friend. Now they're playing with urgency, huh? They could have done it much earlier before the game was out of reach. They get it again. Ben Carroll. Oh, Ben Carroll throws it down. Yeah, they blocked out the noise, blocked out the distractions, kept on grinding and this is their reward boy a fantastic performance and i tell you something i mean you get road kill that's always a challenge in the nba no matter what and they got it done so it's the magic winning this one easily they have to feel good about this performance. It's one they can be proud of. Very true. I mean, when you're out on the road, the wins can feel a little sweeter. This one has to feel extra special. Well, folks, that's going to do it for now. For Allie LaForce, Clark Kellogg, and Grant Hill, this is Brian Anderson saying thank you for watching the NBA, brought to you by 2K Sports. Now it's time to present our New Balance Player of the Game, Paolo Bencaro.